Hi everybody, Shane here from WPW. You know, right now we're on an extended break from wrestling due to the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. And we don't know when we're going to be able to see you guys live again. So in the meantime, we've taken this as an opportunity to peel back the curtain, share some of those stories that make wrestling so important to us. It could be something from the locker room. It could be something from the drives to and from the shows. It could be a great joke that was played on somebody. Anyway, we just want to share some of those stories with you in these upcoming episodes called Tales from the Road. Hey everybody, how's it going? Hopefully everybody's doing good, sit, being stuck at home, and thank you for all the people who are still going to work. Uh, just kill the time, I got a uh, fun wrestling road story for everybody. A few years back I get a phone call from the guy who trained me, uh, John Phelps, JC Thunder. JC Thunder. And get on the phone with him. Hey Deacon, what you been up to lately? Not much. Same, the, same as usual, what's going on? It's like, well, I uh, was watching the news the other night, and I saw, seen a story of a McDonald's getting robbed, and it's actually not too far from where you live. And I couldn't help but notice the two guys that did it look exactly like you in Enigma. And I was just like, no, no, it wasn't me. And he was like, Tommy and me got a good laugh at it, so I figured I'd give you a call. And, you know, double check, because you had that wanted poster that one time. Different story. You know, double check because you had that wanted poster that one time. Different story. And so I just had to double check and I was like, wait, this is my chance. I can finally rib Tommy. Call him back, tell him it was me, and I'm totally freaking out. So he's like, okay, cool, we're going to do this. So I wait a little while. Then I call Tommy, get him on the phone, like, Tommy, <laughs> Tommy, dude, Deacon, what? What's up, brother? Like, dude, I did something so stupid. He goes, it was you? What the hell? What the hell is wrong with you, Dean? I'm like, dude, I don't know. Like, I owe this guy money. And I, I freaking, I panicked. I robbed McDonald's to pay him off. And now I don't know what to do. I, I just need a place to hide. Like, just for a couple days. Like, and he's like, after he gives me the run around, he's just like, you're an idiot. You're stupid. He says, okay, come out this Sunday because everybody's already coming out for the pay-per-view. We'll talk then. I'm like, okay, great. So a few days go by. And... When I get there, I'm playing it really good. I got my head down, like, like on edge, like almost like like tears in my eyes. I get down to the basement where everybody's at, and I look over at Tommy. I give him a little nod, and we walk off to the side room. We get in there. The second the door closes, first thing out of his mouth, what the hell, brother? I can't believe you did this. What the hell's wrong with you? You're bringing his hair on me? I'm like, I know. I know, dude. I'm so sorry. I just... I, I panicked, I was in a, like a crazy moment and it just happened. I don't know what the hell to do, I need help. And then he yells at me more and more and then finally he's like, okay, all right, hang on. Let's go upstairs because everybody out there is going to wonder what the hell we're even yelling at each other for. He's like, okay, I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm just keep my head down, like wiping my eyes. We walk out and everybody's gone, which I thought was a little weird, but I'm trying to maintain that, uh, like, oh, I'm sad, I'm freaking out kind of moment. So Tommy starts leading me up the stairs, and I got my head down, and all of a sudden, I see a red dot right here on my chest. So I look up. Topeka Police, put your hands up right now! Put them up! And obviously, I'm a deer in headlights at this moment, like... So he comes down the steps, he's got his little taser out drawn on me, starts putting me in handcuffs, starts reading me my rights. And then Tommy starts just screaming from the top of the stairs, What the hell was I supposed to do, brother? I mean, you brought this to my house. You killed a freaking kid in that robbery. And that was another moment of, What? And I'm thinking to myself as I'm getting cuffed and getting Mirandized, like, I really, really should have Googled this story before I actually got set this in motion. So I'm panicking, wondering, like, should I tell him? Should I just, you know, like, let this ride out? Maybe I can turn it around on him. So they start hauling me up the steps, and we come around the corner, and everybody's standing there laughing. And that's when it hit me. Tommy worked at the freaking courthouse, and has friends on the force, one and two, apparently John, JC, called Tommy back again to let him know it was all big ribs, so they turned it around on me. 
It happened to me, but it was pretty epic. And then, from that day forward, we decided to call it the McRib Gone Bad. Hopefully you got a laugh out of that. Everybody stay safe. Have a good one.